not provide a reliable outcome and or answer the question which faction is the real political party and hence cannot be relied upon to determine the said preliminary issue. Nevertheless, I am inclined to look at the second question regarding paragraph 115 here and above, where will of the Paksha Pramukh and or majority leaders in the 2018 leadership structure could be said to be synonymous with the will of the political party so as to not levy, leave any stone unturned in arriving at a decision. The determination of this question arises of, out of the alternate submissions made by the UBT faction that the 2018 leadership structure has to be taken ex facia and the determination of which faction was the real political party has to be solely based on the said leadership structure without a comparison of the said structure with the leadership structure provided for the in the constitution of the Shiv Sena. The said pro proposition would run counter to the principles laid down by the Honorable Apex Court in Subhash Desai Supra, where it was specifically provided that the leadership structure which has to be taken into consideration while determining the real political party has to be identifiable by the relevant constitution. Thus, although in the light of my finding on the preceding question, the aspect need not be looked into. However, I intend to look into the said aspect any which way considering the gravity and importance of the dispute. Hence, following are my observations, findings and conclusions on the said aspect. <coughs> UBT faction has submitted that the decision of the Paksha Pramukh is synonymous with the will of the political party and thus if there is a rift if there is a rift in the leadership structure the decision of the Paksha Pramukh constitutes the will of the political party the pro this proposition is devoid of merit as I do not find any substance to allow the same. The reason for the same are recorded herein below. The proposition perhaps would have been a valid point if the party president was the sole repository of the decision making with respect of the policy and administration of the party. For analyzing the said submissions, a perusal of the SS constitution was made. <coughs> the SS constitution provided that Rashtriya Karyakarni shall be the highest authority of the, of the party and its decision in all matters concerning the party policy and party administration shall be final. It is also to be noted that the Paksha Pramukh <coughs> is only a presiding member of the said highest authority in the party and in no way is the sole repository of decision making in the party. Thus, in view of the same, the submission that the decision and or the will of the Paksha Pramukh is synonymous with the will of the political party cannot be accepted. It would be appropriate to note that the SS constitution does not even have a post called Paksha Pramukh. <coughs> However, it was argued by the UBT faction that the nomenclature difference in the 2018 leadership structure and the SS constitution is not a relevant factor for the purpose of deduct deciding the pre preliminary issue, even though I have held in paragraph 117 that 2000 leadership structure is not at all in conformity with SS constitution, I shall consider this submission. The constitution of Shiv Sena provide, provides for Shiv Sena Pramukh. The submission of the petitioner that Shiv Sena Shiv Sena, uh, that Shiv Sena Pramukh mentioned in the uh, SS constitution is the same post of Shiv Sena Paksha Pramukh termed in